It feels like I stood on this stage yesterday at this very podium talking about the line of duty death of Officer Dia. I pray to God that this community would not lose another hero. And mostly, I pray to God that another TPD family would not be forced to experience the tragic loss of a loved one. Clearly, my prayers were not answered the way I would have wished. Sorrow, heartache, and pain as family, friends, brothers, and sisters in blue, as well as the chief, say a final goodbye to Toledo Police Officer Brandon Stalker. Toledo's news leader bringing you all the emotion from the ceremony and how the community honored the fallen hero, Officer Brandon Stalker, dying after an arson suspect shot him during a standoff eight days ago. We have live team coverage remembering Officer Stalker tonight. We'll get to Carla Byron and Emma Henderson in just a moment. But first, we want to take you to the funeral service. An emotional day as family, friends, and other law enforcement officers from here in Northwest Ohio and Southeast Michigan, as well as throughout the state, turned out to honor the life of Officer Brandon Stalker, remembered for his commitment to the force and always working hard for justice. Police Chief George Crawl and Toledo Mayor Wade Kapsikavich both spoke about how difficult the day is, especially just six months after Officer Anthony Diaz's death. Something else that jumps out at you is how much he loved being a police officer. Um, it's, it's a cliche, I suppose, but it really was his dream to be a police officer. I heard his coach mention how proud he was that he was serving Toledo's residents coming to practice wearing his uniform to show the players. You can't teach that. That's an innate calling. He truly loved this job. Officer Stalker leaves behind a seven-year-old daughter, three-month-old son, and a fiancé. Some middle school students taking a break from class today to line the processional route of Officer Stalker. This was just outside of Christ the King School right there at Monroe and Harvest. Carla Byron, she is live at the police memorial in downtown Toledo. Carla, what else did you observe today? Well, these students were really uh, just taking it all in, and I assume for many of them, this was their first time experiencing something like this, so it became a memorable moment. With an American flag and a hand over their hearts, 90 middle schoolers from Christ the King lined the street of the processional route, paying their respects to Toledo police officer Brandon Stalker. It's always tragic when we lose someone who enforces the law, and you know, but I was so happy to see that all these people were showing support. Christ the King's principal says the middle schoolers are old enough to understand what happened to Officer Stalker, so he wanted them to be a part of the procession. His death also became a discussion in class. You know, the big question is why? Why, why do bad things like this happen? And, you know, being at a school of faith, you know, it, it's a very rightful question. So um, it's, it's real, it's life, um, but, you know, sacrifice is something that we preach. And Officer Stalker gave the ultimate sacrifice, so we're out here today showing our respects to that. For 14-year-old Justin Dries, it was an honor to say goodbye to a hero, and he's learned something from this out-of-class experience. I've always had a, a big respect for law enforcement, especially the police, but today that respect is even greater. And I know that uh, the law enforcement officers uh, appreciated the children's show of respect as th as some of them were going by. I saw um, they were blaring their uh, sirens and then uh, thanking the students over their loudspeakers. Reporting live in downtown Toledo, Carla Byron, WTOL 11. Thanks so much, Carla. World team coverage continues tonight. Emma Henderson joins us now live. And Emma, it's been a lot quieter now right across from Toledo Memorial Park, but very busy just a few hours ago as that private portion of the funeral service commenced. That's right, Melissa. Just a few short hours ago, there were dozens of people lining the sidewalk here as they took a turn into Toledo Memorial Park Cemetery. Strangers and family, Toledoans and people from surrounding communities all lined up to say their goodbyes. Some were holding up thin blue line flags and all were here to say thank you to an officer who gave all for his community last Monday. In the crowd, Officer Stalker's oldest child, Kenna's grandparents, 
who said it's important for them to be here for an amazing father. They skated a lot, so he actually taught my younger children how to skate, and he was just, he was always smiling, he was a good guy, and he definitely was a great dad. Now also here was eight-year-old Matt Tickmeyer. He's the one who had the hot cocoa stand this weekend that raised $13,000. He also said he just wanted to say goodbye. Reporting live in Sylvania, Emma Henderson for WTOL 11. All right, elsewhere, this Emma, we, Emma, we appreciate it as we continue to talk about uh, this day that has been heavy for a lot of folks out there. Officer Stalker's final resting place is right where Emma is. Uh, it is the uh, second largest cemetery in the state of Ohio. Of course, we're talking about Toledo Memorial Park. The funeral early this afternoon happened under continued pandemic rules and limitations, and the staff tells WTO 11 that there has been a lot of transition and a lot of emotions adjusting to it all. You could see, you know, the, the toll on the families themselves um, that, you know, there were people that couldn't see these people when they were in the hospital, possibly. They really couldn't go to the only a, a immediate family at the funeral home and then only a few family and friends at, at the graveside. And that is really um, taking a large toll on, on our families. Um, of course, they can be, they could come out after the fact and visit the grave, but you know part of that at that process of closure is, is the ceremony of a burial, and uh, most people don't think so, but we've had families that, that couldn't experience that, and they've come back to tell us that it's just it it, it doesn't let them get past it. Toledo Memorial Park spans 380 acres and has 10 miles of streets. It's also the final resting place of Officer Anthony Dia, killed in the line of duty last July. Now, there are several ways you can help the Stalker family during this difficult time. You can donate money to the Toledo Police Federal Credit Union. 100% of your donation goes to the family. And there's a GoFundMe page and Memorial Clothing Fundraisers. You can find links to all this information on our website, WTOL.com. For those who could not make it out to the processional route today to show respects, they took their messages to social media. Amanda Fay compiled condolences from the community for us tonight. Hundreds of condolences have been rolling into our newsroom throughout the course of the day, some from strangers, some with personal messages, and we want to share some of those with you tonight. Maria Esparza says, I was so sad to hear this young police officer lost his life in the line of duty. I have been praying for all of his loved ones left behind, especially his young children. May your soul rest in God's heavenly peace. Also, another message this afternoon from Francis Cunningham says, I'm so sorry that another young police officer lost his life just doing his job, leaving a seven-year-old and a three-month-old baby. My thoughts and prayers to his family, my heart is breaking for him. Thank you for your service to us all. Frida Arnett Pollaff writes, rest in heaven, Officer Stalker. Your time on earth was much too short. I pray for comfort for your grieving family and friends. I pray for the good Lord to protect all of our TBD. So very sorry for the loss of another officer. Tom Bedner says, thank you, TPD, for all you do in protecting the citizens of Toledo. Keep your head up. You have a lot of support. It is just an ugly world out there right now. Don't give up. Don't give in. We need you. Rest in heaven, Officer Stalker. Tammy Kirk Roberts says, as a mom of a Leo, this just breaks my heart for his mom, fiance, his young children, and his family, and also all of TPD because they are also his family. I pray each day for all officers' safety. Thank you for your services and to TPD and all officers everywhere. Thank you. You leave home and your families every day not knowing if you're going to return home to them. She continues, as I tell my son every day before his shift, stay safe, pay attention, keep your eyes open, watch you and your fellow officers back, and return home safe. You can share your condolences right now on our Facebook and Twitter pages by using the hashtag Officer Stalker. We will share your messages with the Toledo Police Department. For WTOL 11, I'm Amanda Fay.